So it's already the end of the year and it seems 2021 was the sequel to the shit show that was 2020. So let's try and put all of that behind us and enjoy some of the best scary videos that this year had to offer. So sit back, relax and enjoy. As kids, most of us had a fear of something creepy hiding under our beds at some point or another. Perhaps it was the boogeyman or a sinister clown. As we grew older, we understood that this was just another childish fear that we would grow out of. Or is it? For TikTok user Josh Dean 0222 this nightmare was anything but a silly youthful fantasy. In fact, it looks to have become a reality for his young daughter. In the video, we see camera footage of the TikTok user's daughter's bedroom. A child's musical tune is playing in the background. His daughter lies on her bed. She pokes her head over the edge to look underneath. His daughter slowly climbs off her bed and onto the floor. She crawls her way to the front of the bed, turning her head to look underneath the mattress. What happens next will surely give you the chills. Take a look. As you can see, her body slowly goes under the bed, as if being pulled by something underneath. We then hear the child begin to wail. Her cries become more distressed as her body goes underneath until it completely disappears. The TikTok user explained that his wife believes their daughter simply crawled under the bed, though he's certain that she was pulled by something or someone. The way her body seems to slowly slide under the bed is clearly suggestive of a pulling motion, and the fact that she screams mummy is extremely eerie and suspicious. The uploader later confirmed that they ran into the child's room to see what had happened. They found their daughter under the bed safe, but frightened. So could this video be a case of our worst childhood nightmare come true? When they arrived to start their shift one day, staff in a co-op store in Whaley Bridge, a small town in Derbyshire, England, were surprised to find stock strewn across the floor. What they discovered on the overnight CCTV footage left them shaking. According to the video uploaded by regional manager Chris Armstrong, something very strange happened at 2.38 that morning. There's no evidence that there was anyone present, however several shadows can be seen moving around the store. Items are flung off the shelves in various aisles and fruit is seen rolling across the floor. Is this the work of a mischievous poltergeist? The video also captured multiple doors shaking as if they were being rattled or banged upon. The flying fruit and mysterious shadows, while certainly peculiar, could almost be considered playful. But there's something undeniably violent in the shaking doors that suggests who or whatever's behind these antics might be looking for more than mischief. It's worth noting that, according to the CCTV timestamp, each of the incidents occurred in the space of one minute. Although perhaps the first incident recorded on camera, this is not the first time that something spooky has happened at the store. Chris Armstrong told journalists that the store has had a reputation of being haunted for many years. It was built on top of a set of eerie old cellars, the windows of which still have iron bars on them, and there have been several reports of unexplained stock movements and doors rattling in their frames. Do you think the staff of this small town co-op might have a resident poltergeist on their hands?
This next piece of CCTV footage uploaded to YouTube by Palki Kaku seems to confirm chilling reports that taxi drivers in Japan are seeing ghosts during their shifts. In 2016, local Japanese newspaper the Asahi Shimbun ran an article that interviewed over 100 taxi drivers just after the devastating 2011 earthquake and tsunami that rocked Japan's Tohoku region. The article was titled, in the months after the tsunami, taxi drivers report ghost passengers. One taxi driver's account details a chilling fare that happened just weeks after the tsunami. A woman entered the vehicle and asked to go to the Miyagi district. The driver had to explain that the town no longer existed and had been completely wiped out. When the driver looked in the back seat, the woman asked, have I died? She then stepped out of the car and eerily walked off. Another driver claims that he picked up a man who was around 20 years old wearing a thick winter coat. The driver said he had had a strange feeling about the passenger, but nevertheless drove on. When they arrived at the destination, the driver pulled over expecting his passenger to open the door and leave. The driver paused for a moment, turned and looked in the back seat. The young man was no longer there. With these reports in mind, this next piece of taxi dashcam footage from Japan becomes utterly chilling. In the footage, we see a taxi driver pull over to pick up a passenger. The door opens, however nobody appears to get in. Despite this, the driver seemingly greets his passenger and continues his fare. There's clearly no one in the back seat as he pulls away. What happens next will give you the chills. Watch. As you can see, a dark shape begins to form in the middle seat. At first, it resembles a shadow. However, as the video continues, we can see that the shape actually has a ghostly white face. There are several strange things about this footage. Firstly, it seems as though the driver can actually see the entity, as at no stage during the clip does he appear alarmed. Also, the camera shows that the ghostly figure seems to intermittently disappear then reappear as the journey continues. If you zoom in on the strange apparition, its face looks swollen with one eye closed and one eye open. Here's another eerie piece of footage captured by a taxi dash cam in Japan. The forward facing camera shows the cab pulling over to pick up a fare. Note that you can see a woman on the side of the road hailing the cab. The clip cuts to an inside view of the taxi. Here we see the rear passenger door open and the driver looks expectantly at it. The eerie thing is, no one gets in. Baffled, the driver gets out to see what's going on. He investigates the passenger side of the vehicle, but there's no one there. So, are Japan's taxi drivers really being haunted by people who have died tragically? If these two pieces of footage are to be considered evidence, then it would certainly appear the dead are lingering in the streets of Japan. Being a security guard can be a dangerous job. If you believe this video, shared by Cristancho1990, some security guards have more than the usual intruders to worry about. The video was captured on the security cameras at the office of the mayor of Armenia, Colombia. The footage shows a lone security guard patrolling an area of the building late one evening after most other members of staff have gone home. At the start of the video, we can already tell that something seems off.
The security guard walks around the same area multiple times, moving only a few feet at a time, before stopping for a few seconds, then carrying on. It seems as though he's heard something unusual and is straining to hear. Perhaps it's only an eerie feeling that causes him to rewalk the area multiple times. While the video never reveals exactly what made the security guard so preoccupied, we eventually see that he was right to be concerned. Take a look at what happens. As you can see, the security guard is suddenly lifted from his feet and tossed into a nearby wall. He hits the wall hard enough that a piece of the wall's thin panelling is knocked off. Over the next few seconds, the guard attempts to pick himself up off the floor, but it looks as if something's pushing him down, preventing him from getting back on his feet. Eventually, a few other guards arrive on the scene to help him out. According to the security guard, he's certain that it was a ghost that attacked him that night, tossing him into the wall and keeping him from getting up from the floor. The mayor of the town seems inclined to agree, adding that this isn't the first time that a staff member has reported paranormal activity. The fact that this footage was captured on security camera and comes from such an official source has led many to believe that this truly is a ghost attack caught on camera. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. What do you think? It's definitely been going viral this past few weeks, so you may have already seen it, but I'd still love to hear your take on it in the comment section down below. On the evening of January 16th, 2021, a New York resident was taking a stroll through the Bronx when they spotted something truly bizarre in the night sky. The footage was uploaded to the Instagram account, Jesse Badillo 14 Take a look. Those things are orange. Look at them, next to each other. In the clip, we can see three orange dots floating in the sky. The triangle formation drifts slowly through the air as the camera holder watches in awe. He asks several bystanders whether they know what the object is, but they are just as baffled. You guys know what that is? Holy oh, see that? When the clip was shared to social media, it began to get some traction, garnering thousands of views with hundreds of comments speculating on what the objects were. Theories range from Chinese lanterns and drones to military tech and aliens. Some comments were quick to point out that it's incredibly hard to get permission to fly drones in New York airspace. The Chinese lantern theory didn't fly that far either, with many pointing to the precise and consistent formation the three orange balls form. Look at that, they're orange. One of the more prominent ideas is that it's a top secret military craft known as TR-3B. The long rumored aircraft is purported to be based on alien technology. It's said to be a plasma-coated anti-gravity machine powered by nuclear energy. So does this footage show a highly secretive piece of government tech? Or is it something even more mysterious, like aliens observing us from afar? Look at that, it's a triangle. Look at that, they're orange. YouTuber Mario Lara is no stranger to the paranormal. For the most of 2021, he's been posting his experiences with the supernatural to YouTube. 
His latest encounter seems to be one of the most frightening to date. Mario owns a party supply shop in Mexico. For months, it's been exhibiting some very unsettling and inexplicable events. Items often move without reason, strange whispers can be heard after hours, and ghostly figures have been spotted haunting the shop. Despite its cheery, bright appearance, the premises seems to have a sinister presence lurking within it. Mario has decided to set up some cameras and other equipment in order to get evidence of the shop's eerie haunting. In this clip, early in the evening, some strange activity begins to manifest. Watch what one of the cameras caught. Here we can already see things beginning to move as some items fall off the shelf, seemingly all on their own. Later in the evening, as one of the investigators decides to get some rest on a sofa, something eerie happens in the background. Then, around 30 seconds later, this happens. As you can see, the TV slides across the floor towards the sleeping man. Not long after, the man is awoken by a loud banging noise. He jumps up and grabs a flashlight. When he notes the position of the TV, he seems perplexed. Next, we see footage of the investigator killing some time while playing a PlayStation VR. As his attention is fixated on the screen, something truly chilling happens in the background. Watch. A small, transparent form appears near the back of the room. Only its dark, short hair is distinctly visible as it moves in rapid blurs along the wall, staring at the man. When the investigator later attempts to communicate with the entity, he hears strange sounds in response to his questions. Sí, es una mujer. 
Vuelvo a preguntar, ¿te tiene atada algo a esta? Ok, eso estuvo fuerte. Demonio que habita este lugar. Me dirijo al demonio. A camera shows a candle being blown out in an empty room. The investigation team believes that the ghost of a child is dwelling in the store. They theorize that the child's spirit has an attachment to a particular item, a piñata of the Disney princess Moana. For now, the ghost seems relatively harmless, but no one knows how far it will go. Dark Ghost Paranormal is a well-known YouTube channel within the horror community. They often venture into eerie, abandoned places and film their findings. More often than not, they encounter serious paranormal activity that often leaves viewers wondering whether ghosts really do exist. In this video uploaded to their channel in October of 2021, the YouTuber films inside of a house that's rumored to be home to a malevolent and demonic presence. They set up multiple cameras around the old abandoned house in hopes of capturing evidence of the haunting. At one point in the video, the uploader is making his way through a dark and eerie looking room when all of a sudden this happens. An old and rusty phone that looks like it dates back multiple decades abruptly begins to ring, startling the explorer. Then, just a minute or so later, another phone begins to ring. Much like the first time, the uploader makes the choice not to answer, probably a bit worried about what he'll hear down the end of the line. A couple of minutes go by when yet another phone starts to ring. This time, they decide to answer. An eerie tune plays through the phone. It was a good bit. As the investigation continues, more and more unnerving things begin happening. Take a look.
Watching that again, a chair begins to move all on its own, and drawers suddenly start flying out of their place. All the while, that eerie tune can be heard still playing in the background. Eventually, the unsettling occurrences become too much for the YouTuber to process and he decides to leave the house. Naturally, viewers have been freaked out by this investigation. It does seem to show some genuine paranormal activity. So was a demonic force really messing around with this YouTuber? was it trying to make contact via the old phones. Until further info comes out about this old house, this freaky piece of footage will have to remain a mystery. It was a good bit. This is a very strange and eerie clip posted to the TikTok account Paranormal Activity. It shows a man talking to a shadowy figure. I did it. I did it. So? While at first it doesn't seem all that alarming, however, the more times you watch it, the more unsettling it becomes. Just. If, 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 if you have to be that loud, I just. No, no, it's so loud. It begins with the man insisting to the unknown figure that he did it. No, I did that. No, no, I, 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 I did. I, I did the, I did it. I did it. So. He then says that that's not his name over and over again. I did it. So. <clears throat> no, don't. It's not. It's not my name. It's not. It's not. It's not. Finally, the camera holder talks about something being loud. Not. Just. <laughs> If, 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 if you have to be that loud, I just no, no, it's so loud. It's Unfortunately, that's where the clip ends. There are a lot of eerie details in this short clip. Firstly, the dark figure itself. At the beginning of the clip, it appears to be hunched over. It then stands up to be quite tall and menacing. No, I did that, no. It's hard to make out any details of the figure as it appears to be solid black. At one point, it turns, revealing what looks to be a long, drooping neck. I did. I, I did the. I did it. I did it. So. No, don't. It's not. It's not my name. It's not. It's not. It's At not. the end of the clip, it squats down before the footage cuts out. Just. If, 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 if you have to be that loud, I just no, no. It's so loud. It's why. The second strange detail about this video is that the man appears to be talking to himself. 
The black figure doesn't say a word, yet the man seems to be responding to questions. Oh, it's not, it's not my name, it's not, it's not, it's not. Some viewers have noted it's as though the dark entity is using telepathy to communicate with the man. If, 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 if you have to be that loud, I just know, no, it's so loud. It's... Others have said it sounds like the man's mentally ill and is talking to himself, as though suffering from schizophrenia. It's almost as though we're privy to a hallucination that this man's experiencing. I did, the, I did it. I did it. So. Then there's the shadow man theory. Some say this footage is proof that shadow people exist. The concept of shadow people is a scary phenomenon that thousands of witnesses all around the world have reported. Those who have experienced encounters with so-called shadow people say they live in our periphery, dark entities that hide on the fringe of reality. Some victims of this phenomenon say that shadowy beings watch them during episodes of sleep paralysis. The sufferers report being awake yet unable to move. It's at this point a dark shadowy figure will crawl into their rooms and watch them completely paralyzed, unable to run or defend themselves. The scary thing is this same experience has been reported by thousands of people all around the world. So could there be shadowy entities living among us? This video seems to suggest that shadow people do indeed exist. Uh, no, don't. It's not. It's not my name. It's not. It's not. It's not. Just... The Norwood Hotel, located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, is by all means a normal hotel that you would stay in for a few nights and not think anything of it. But this video, uploaded by popular paranormal investigation team, the Paranormies, proves that the hotel isn't as normal as it seems. There's a room in the hotel, room 313 to be exact, that's allegedly haunted. It's had many strange occurrences throughout the years. The Paranormies team heard a story about a woman named Christina that had stayed in room 313 at the Norwood Hotel back in 2008. She was in town for a convention, was only planning on staying at the hotel for a few nights. The first evening she was there, she awoke in the middle of the night, unable to move. She said she could see a strange man in the corner of the room, grinning at her. He put his finger to his lips and told her to shush. Unable to move, Christina could do nothing but watch this strange man staring at her. Six hours later, she woke up ill and violently threw up. There was no sign of an intruder and the door was still double locked. Startled, Christina called her boyfriend to explain what had happened. He thought perhaps she had suffered an episode of sleep paralysis and that the man was just a hallucination. The following night, Christina had a dream that a man was on fire floating just outside her hotel window. She woke with a fright just as the phone in her room rang. It was her boyfriend in hysterics saying that he had just had a dream that someone broke into her hotel room and did awful things to her. Freaked out, Christina grabbed her keys and left the room. She slept in her car for a few hours till the sun came up. Wanting to leave immediately, Christina headed back to the hotel to grab her things and drive home. When she arrived back at the hotel, it appeared as though the door to her room had been tampered with. The window was wide open and a few of her things were missing. She rang her boyfriend to explain what had happened and to thank him for calling the previous night. Otherwise, she may have stayed in the room for the entire evening. Confused, her boyfriend said that he didn't call her. They both checked their call history list and sure enough, no calls were made. Christina doesn't know how to explain what happened that night in room 313. In order to see for themselves how truly haunted the room is, the Paranormies decided to check into the hotel for the night to conduct a series of experiments. And, as you'll see, things get increasingly more terrifying as the night goes on. During one section of the video, the team sets up a doll that's motion activated, having just changed the batteries. But whenever the cameraman waves his hand in front of the doll, strangely enough, nothing happens. The doll won't go off. 
Jordan. What? Come look. The cameraman says that the doll is normally motion activated and can't explain why it isn't working properly. Wow. Usually she doesn't shut up. Uh, what? You walk in front of me. Okay, hang on. Stay there, flip it around. I wanna just keep this in one shot to see. Well, what? There she goes. Whoa. But she's not making any she's noise. She's not making any noise. That is weird. She's not saying anything. Whoa. She's just not saying anything anymore. A couple of minutes later, the crew decides to bring an SLS device into the bathroom. Take a look at what they captured. Mm -hmm. What is this uh -oh. This special device detects that there's a presence in the bathroom. That is really creepy. Yeah, just I'm looking the behind there. It's, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. That's just like the, it's like sitting in the corner of the tub. You hiding? From here, the crew set up a series of motion-activated balls and spread them across the hotel room. And sure enough, one of them turns on all by itself. You can touch any one of those. Oh, this is just dead. Oh, oh whoa. Whoa. Thank you. I didn't... Scare? Scare. I did not expect that. But perhaps the creepiest incident of the night happens when one of the crew members named Jordan walks past the mirror that is adorning the wall. Take a look at what was captured. I'll check it out. Heavy. Heavy. Although he didn't notice it at the time, if you look closely, you can see that Jordan doesn't have a reflection in the mirror when he walks by. Heavy. Heavy. At first, you might think it's just the angle the camera's on. However, just moments later, another member of the team walks by the mirror and clearly has a reflection. I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from. It almost sounds like, yeah, like, like water. The camera's showing the exact same angle as before. Later that night, while the crew members are sleeping, their REM pod and K2 devices proceed to give them an unexpected wake-up call. While these devices being set off is creepy enough, something else happens in the room that is a little more unsettling. Let's watch it again, but this time keep an eye on the right of frame. As you can see, a shadowy figure seems to get on top of Jordan on the right. So given Christina's first-hand account and the bizarre video evidence that the Paranormies team captured, it would appear something very unusual is happening in room 313. But just what the root cause is remains unknown. Heavy. Heavy. Mary Therese Pagaya, the Philippines, was probably the talk of her nursing class when she submitted a video project that seems to feature ghostly activity. In May of 2021, Mary began experiencing strange activity in her family home. While filming a series of demonstration videos for her nursing course, something bizarre happened. In the first part of the video, we see Mary going through her demonstration on camera. 
watch what happens. Verify the client's identity and provide. Ano ba tayong? Sige pa din, sige na, sige na, sige na, sige na. Otro otro. One, two, three, go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. The lights in the room flicker. And the door on a nearby cupboard seems to slam shut all on its own. Mary later makes a follow up video showing the whole room, demonstrating to viewers that no one would have been able to fit in the closet to make the door swing open. So, as you can see, this cabinet is full of clothes and no person can actually, oh my gosh, fit inside here. During this video, some viewers have spotted an odd white mist and orbs floating in front of the camera. So my brother was uh, videotaping me, uh, filming, filming here. I was standing here and my brother was standing here. And the lights actually started to flicker before the cabinet opened. And actually before that, we were actually experiencing um, weird things. Mary states that she's no longer sleeping in the room for fear of more strange activity, hiding out in her parents' room instead. However, she did place a camera in the room to see if anything else would happen. In the first CCTV video, the strange white mist appears again, floating in front of the camera for several seconds. Through the mist, we can see the oscillating fan in the room suddenly switch on. Other footage shows the closet door opening and closing on its own. In this final piece of CCTV footage, something truly chilling happens. Take a look. If you watch closely, you can see a hand clutch the door briefly before disappearing back inside. This is followed by orbs flying through the room and a chair that seems to move around all on its own. We got in contact with Mary directly to find out more about this chilling encounter. She believes she knows why she's being haunted. A few weeks before filming this footage, she and her boyfriend witnessed a terrible car accident. Her boyfriend, a medic, tried to revive a badly hurt victim. Unfortunately, they didn't survive. Mary believes that the spirit of the accident victim may have attached itself to the couple and followed them home. No one sleeps in the room anymore and Mary's grandmother blesses the space with holy water every day. So is this chilling activity linked to the horrible accident Mary and her partner witnessed? Love to hear your take on this in the comments section below.
In June 2021, TikTok user Clax Attacks uploaded the following piece of footage, and it's been confusing and creeping out viewers ever since. Take a look. What the hell is that? Hey! As you can see, some kind of large bipedal figure is walking slowly across the man's yard. What the hell is that? Hey! The uploader's pet dog is clearly on guard too as it watches the mysterious figure from a distance. What the hell is that? Hey! The TikToker was at a loss to explain the sighting, and it left viewers wondering whether it was a trespasser or something more mysterious. Several days later, Clax Attacks gave a video update about the sighting. I looked over and I saw it from behind that swing set out of the woods, walked over behind that truck or to that truck and went behind it into the woods. I don't know what it was. It was brownish red in person. We have a street light, so I figured it'd pick up better. Apologize for the quality. Apparently zooming in at night will make any phones. I haven't seen it since and um, hopefully I won't, but I still don't know if it was a person or a thing, whatever it was, it was big and it was in my yard and I don't like that. <laughs> so he's not seen the figure since, nor does he have any idea what it could have been. Theories in the comments section ranged from a Wendigo to a ghost or even a skinwalker. Skinwalkers are mysterious entities that have their origins in Navajo folklore. They're said to be shamans that conjure black magic. They use their powers to shapeshift into animals and even other humans to lure their victims in before brutally murdering them. There's actually very limited information on skinwalkers because Navajo people tend not to talk about the creatures to outsiders. So could this really be a skinwalker? Or is there another, more simple explanation? Drop your theories in the comment section down below. Hey! In one YouTube video uploaded by Bush Ting, we get a glimpse of not just one bizarre incident, but several haunting occurrences. The CCTV footage shows the interior of a workspace. For the first 10 seconds or so, all seems normal. Then, all of a sudden, the door in the background of the workspace seems to move all on its own. The door opens. The woman working looks over for a few moments before going back to her task. Soon after, something frightening happens. Watch. Okay, here it is. The woman reacts as if something touched her. What were you thinking in that moment? If we re-watch the footage and zoom in, we can see that the woman's hair moves as if something touches it. The woman jumps up in response, feeling her hair and looking around. She then leaves the room. How long did you stay out of the room? The video then cuts to another security camera in a different location of the office. A worker enters the room and begins to shift through some items off camera. Now keep an eye on the wheelchair. You can see that the wheelchair seems to move all on its own. The man turns around and pushes the wheelchair out of the way, seemingly unaware of what's just happened. The video then cuts back to the first camera angle. Lights begin to flicker on and off. In the bottom right of frame, we can see something strange appear. Whatever it is, it seems to have an amorphous shape. A couple of seconds later, the woman points to one of the computer screens, and both she and the other employee stand up and turn around. Yeah, there was some music. Oh, something was 
A lot happens in this set of video clips, but no explanation's been given to make sense of these eerie events. Could it be that a ghostly presence haunts this particular workspace? And if so, what's its purpose in doing so? Unfortunately, until more information comes to hand, this mysterious clip will have to remain an enigma. You can watch something on the news channel or TV or whatever. And he was like, I'm not even on my phone. It was the music over here. It's because it sounded loud. It sounded like it was kind of soft or whatever. And I yelled at my brother because I thought it was him. And it was the music. And I was like, Maybe. For nearly a year, TikTok user Josiah Worley has been reporting paranormal activity in his apartment. He claims that some kind of presence is making itself known. Eerie sounds, moving objects, and strange shadows have been reported on the property. The landlord has even stated that previous tenants have left scared because of the inexplicable occurrences. One question, one question only. Am I safe? Worley has taken to TikTok to document the alleged hauntings. There are dozens and dozens of clips demonstrating what appears to be supernatural activity. You willing to talk to me or no? In this clip, we can see some of the activity that has led Worley to believe his apartment is haunted. Take a look. Who's still there? Immediately, we hear Worley ask if the presence is still there. We then see a chair fall over, seemingly on its own. Worley continues to ask if there's anything there. Still here? Are you still here? Are you still here? In another clip, Worley is asking the presence to turn the light off when something chilling happens. Can you make the light shut off? As you can see, a candle on the coffee table slides right off. There doesn't appear to be anything causing the movement. Worley then comments on the naysayers in his audience. So you f think um, that this is f fake? He lifts the candle up, proving that there's no wires or strings attached. In yet another clip, Worley claims he was awoken by someone calling his name. Literally, hear a can getting knocked over? No, that's just me. That's when more activity is caught on camera. Take a look. Please, knock over the cups. As you can see, a bag falls off the table, seemingly on its own. Oh, you, you saw that. You saw that. In this final video, you can tell Worley's wits are pushed to their limits. He seems on edge. He begins by explaining that a closet door is open for no reason. This closet's open. Why? Why? I, I, I swear to God. He then points out that a previously unknown crawl space has opened up on the other side of the room. Um, also, I didn't know that was a thing. Moments later, something eerie happens. <laughs> okay. If you take another look, you can hear the door slam behind him. He goes to investigate. <laughs> okay. Okay. Try me, bro. What's good? It's clear that there's no one in the small closet. So how did the door slam? What's good? I'm in, I'm in the closet. <laughs> hey, what's good? What's good, bro? As we mentioned, on Worley's TikTok account, there is a huge collection of videos that all document alleged paranormal activity. There are far too many for us to feature in one episode and they all show convincing evidence of a haunting. Of course, the account is not without its skeptics, with many claiming the entire thing is a hoax. Many people in the comments have called out the use of string in his earlier videos, but I'm yet to see specific examples that officially debunk the footage. It's a fascinating collection of videos that may indeed show proof of an otherworldly entity haunting this old apartment. I highly recommend you check out the channel for yourself. 
As always, there's links in the description box below. Next up is some chilling CCTV footage from South Korea. In May of 2019, a young woman from Silim district of Seoul was returning home after a night out with friends. Watch what the security cameras captured. As you can see, the woman only narrowly gets into her apartment before a suspicious looking man tries to hold open the door and enter. He paces back and forth for a while. He even tries moving the door handle. Eventually, he leaves the area. The woman called the police and this piece of visual evidence went viral around the internet. At one point in the clip, you can see that the man realizes he's being filmed. The following morning, the man turned himself in to the authorities. Known only as Joe, the 30-year-old man claimed he was drunk and doesn't remember following the woman to her apartment. The police initially charged the man with trespassing, but after public outrage, the man was charged with more serious offences and is facing several years in prison. Shadow figures. These mysterious entities are the stuff of nightmares. It's said that they appear as mere silhouettes in dark corners, making the witnesses believe the light is playing tricks on them. Some believe that they're beings from other worlds or spirits portending to tragedies yet to come. Some even believe that they appear to drive witnesses into madness. Unfortunately, TikToker Chits McGee believes that he has a shadow person residing in their home. The story begins with this footage in which the TikToker explains that he's been hearing strange scratching noises and that he's set up a camera to try and solve the mystery. So I've been hearing some strange noises streaming from this bathroom. Um, and so I'm going to set up this camera to record. Mere seconds after he turns out the lights and walks away from the camera, something eerie happens. Watch. As you can see, the shadowy figure makes its first appearance in the bathroom mirror, peeking into the mirror for a moment before quickly slipping away. The entity makes its second appearance in the same mirror. The TikToker first gives a look at the bathroom, showing us that the room is empty. Nobody's in there. Nobody's in the bathroom. Nothing's behind the door. He turns the lights out and sits on the couch recording the mirror over his shoulder. After he jokingly says peekaboo, the shadow figure once again peeks into the mirror before quickly disappearing. Peekaboo! The TikToker begins losing sleep over the situation, especially when the entity begins slamming doors in the night. Taking advice from his viewers, he records himself standing in the dark hallway demanding that the spirit leave. Watch what happens. We are not gonna take it anymore, okay? You need to get the f out. No, no. Whatever it is responds with an eerie growl before slamming the bathroom door shut. You need to get the f out. No, no. This is a f <sighs> the TikToker isn't giving up without a fight, however. In his next video, he uses a spirit box to communicate with the shadow figure. During the session, the entity states that its name is Peekaboo and tells the TikToker to make a wish. What's your name?
He asks the spirit if it wants to hurt them. Are you here to hurt us? However, the spirit does indicate that it's displeased about being asked to leave, telling the TikToker that his language was bad. When asked what it is, the spirit says it's female. Can you identify what you are? Okay. The TikToker then asks if it's evil. Take a listen. Are you evil? Based on the responses from the spirit box session, the TikToker believes that there are at least two spirits haunting the house. The spirit ends the session by saying, leave him. It's unclear if it's simply attempting to end the conversation or indicating that it'll leave the home. For now, this TikToker has no idea what the future holds for him and his paranormal visitor. In this video uploaded to TikTok by user Parasomnia MX, we join the person filming as they walk through a dimly lit building. It's unclear why the camera's rolling, but as the person passes a staircase and reaches what appears to be an exit, it would seem they want to leave the building. What happened prior to the video that caused them to record their experience? As they try to open the door, they find it to be locked. As they turn around, we see something that makes the thought of being unable to escape this building all the more terrifying. Take a look. As you can see, a strange figure is watching from the stairs. This lurking entity has a bald round head and is neatly clothed in a grey dress and white shirt. Its short stature suggests it may be a child, but on closer inspection the figure's disproportionate limbs seem creepily non-human. It almost looks like it's half melded into the staircase itself. The figure's legs look way too short to belong to a human child. Some viewers suggested it could be a doll, with one even suggesting it could be a ventriloquist dummy. Whatever the figure was, its sudden appearance watching from the stairs was enough for the person in the video to flee into the darkness of the mysterious building. Off-roading is a fun hobby, but it can also be dangerous. Most people worry about breakdowns or injuries, but few people, including TikToker Smithereens, worry about paranormal encounters in the darkness. The strange occurrences began when the TikToker headed to a lake in the wilderness. It's dark, the area only being lit by the vehicle's headlights. We can't see the lake behind the trees and tall grass in front of the car. However, we can hear something strange. Listen. A high-pitched crying pierces the air. There doesn't appear to be any animals or people visible anywhere in the area, but the sound is definitely not the wind. The TikToker is torn. Is someone in trouble? He clearly wants to help, but getting out of the car in this instance might be a dangerous move. He decides to drive closer to the lake, following the crying sounds until he encounters a locked gate labelled No Trespassing. Ignoring the sign, he exits the car and begins walking in the direction of the sounds. On the way to the lake, he comes across something disturbing, a tall rock adorned in fresh flowers. It appears to be a grave or some sort of memorial. Could this be the final resting place of whatever entity is making that eerie sound? He continues on, eventually finding the lake. Here the cries are at their loudest. I'm literally so scared. I keep hearing something around me. I don't know what it is. This is literally the worst experience I've ever had. I'm freaking out. I should not have come here. Disturbingly, the cries no longer seem to be coming from any particular direction. 
Instead, the sounds echo all around him, making him feel like he's surrounded. Hello? Hello? The end of the video shows him running back to his car. Some viewers commented that the cries resemble those of a type of spirit known as La Llorona, also known as the Weeping Woman. This variety of spirit is that of a woman who roams the area near the water mourning her children who drowned there. The memorial that the TikToker encounters gives credence to this theory. It could be a memorial for the children who lost their lives in the lake, children whose mother remains near the lake weeping for them. Could this be evidence of La Llorona? It's long been speculated that animals can sense things far beyond our capabilities. For centuries, it's been thought by many that cats can see the dead. This clip shared to the TikTok account Pareidolia Paranormal may just prove this theory. The video begins with a curious cat who seems to have spotted something unusual. Take a look. As it goes to investigate, something eerie happens. Upon review, we can see a jug on the bench that seems to move all on its own. It's as though the cat knew something was going to happen. Here it is in slow motion. The clip appears to have been caught by a home security system. It looks as though it's late at night and there's clearly no one else around. One criticism the video has drawn is that perhaps string was used to pull the jug to get a reaction out of the cat. However, other comments were quick to point out that knowing the curiosity of cats, one would think it would have either pawed at the string or looked at whoever was manipulating the string off camera. So with the string theory ruled out, a more chilling conclusion easily springs to mind. Could this clip show genuine paranormal activity? The cat's reaction seems to suggest it does. This freaky clip uploaded to TikTok by Leonardo Palazzo 01 shows an apparent transformation taking place on security camera. In the brief clip, we see footage overlooking a street. A woman wearing a red top and blue jeans approaches a crosswalk and stops. As she stands there, we can see something truly bizarre happening. Take a look. As you can see, her legs seem to bend back unnaturally. Reactions were mixed to this video. Some thought that the video could have easily been manipulated and is therefore fake. Perhaps the TikToker had used some type of editing program to cause the illusion that the woman's legs were bending. Others thought it was an example of saber legs, a type of hyperextension often seen in ballet dancers. Still, a select few thought this had to be a shapeshifter, perhaps mid-transformation. Whether real or fake, this clip certainly elicits an unsettling feeling that lingers about long after the video has ended. One of our viewers, no Kaleidoscope 417 uploaded this pic to our Slaptam subreddit, asking the community whether or not there's something more to this seemingly innocent photo. In the photo, we can see the OP's daughter and niece posing for the camera. In the foreground is their sister-in-law's phone, which is also taking a snap of the girls. At first, the family didn't notice anything, but in the photo on the phone in the foreground, there's two extra faces in the image. The first and most prominent face in the photo is that of an older man. The family immediately recognized the face as their grandfather who had just passed away two months prior to this photo being taken. Take a look at this comparison photo. 
Although the photo on the right is blurry, there is indeed a resemblance to their granddad. The second face is a little less defined, but some of the family believes it also looks like their grandmother. Here's a comparison. Stranger still, the photo on the phone in the foreground that shows the extra faces doesn't seem to exist. The phone you can see didn't save the photo. The OP is also adamant that nothing's been tampered with, and given the fact that it's a photo of a photo, it would be pretty hard to manufacture anyway. So what do you think? Are the grandparents making contact with their family, or is it just a case of a strange blurry photo? The resemblance of the grandfather is certainly there. This footage from Instagrammer Rincon Salfate shows something odd caught on a home security system. Everything in the room is dark, that is, until a bright ball of white light suddenly appears on camera. The light hovers in front of the camera, making occasional slight movements. It initially appears to be a glare from some outside light source. However, an ordinary glare wouldn't move in this way. This has led many to believe that the light is a particularly intense example of a ghostly orb. Paranormal aficionados believe that orbs of light such as this one are evidence of spiritual energy. Experts believe that it takes a lot of energy for ghosts to interact with the physical realm. It's thought that orbs require a little less energy to manifest. Orbs are typically only spotted on camera and usually fairly faint. The brightness and size of the orb in this footage is quite unique. Orbs can appear in different colours, including clear, white, green, red, blue, and even black. So does this footage show a remarkable example of a ghostly orb, or is there some other external light source that wasn't captured on film? Love to hear your take on this in the comments section below. An Instagram account named Sveri Gessasare uploaded a mysterious piece of home surveillance camera footage that was filmed on August 23rd, 2021 at an undisclosed location. The homeowner received a text that movement had been detected outside their house. This is what they saw. As you can see, there's an emaciated person walking strangely through the yard. Their limbs are extremely thin. Most commenters thought that this was someone on drugs wandering the property and that the homeowner should have called the police. There's no info on whether the uploader eventually notified the authorities or not. What would you do if you saw this in the middle of the night on your home security feed? Let me know down below. This mysterious piece of footage appears to show an unusual late night encounter that can't really be explained. A woman is filming her walk down a dimly lit pathway. Immediately, we get the sense that the woman thinks something's wrong, hence why she's filming in the first place. We see a jogger run past and the woman turns the camera to see behind her. Watch what happens. As you can see, when she turns the camera back, the jogger has vanished, nowhere to be seen. Eerily, the jogger appears again, this time on her left hand side. That's when something even more frightening happens. Watch. If we watch it again, the jogger appears on her left hand side, pauses, then creepily runs at the woman backwards. She turns and runs and the clip ends. When this clip hit the internet, speculation ran rife as the footage racked up thousands of views. Some comments suggested the footage was from a movie, but couldn't name which one. Others hoped the whole thing was staged, 
because the thought of a freaky, vanishing, backwards running man was just too much to bear. Either way, it's definitely a weird piece of footage that's unnerving whatever way you look at it. The following video was posted to TikTok by a man named Carlos Ruiz. It's some security footage taken at a gym in an unknown part of Colombia. At first, nothing seems all that unusual about the clip as we see a man preparing to exercise. As the camera pans to the left, however, we can see a few cables on one of the exercise machines moving on their own. Now, keep an eye on the medicine ball in the bottom right hand corner. From here, things take a turn for the worse. As you can see, something seems to grab the man. He falls over, but his right leg stays in the air as if something's holding on to it. Frightened, he runs away. A second camera managed to capture the incident. Again, we can see the man fall over and something appears to grab his leg. This angle shows that there doesn't appear to be any wires or that the video has been manipulated in any way. The man even runs to the gym's reception area to report what's just happened. Naturally, these two clips have since gone viral, racking up millions of views with thousands of comments chiming in trying to solve the mystery. The majority of people have been shocked at just how genuine the footage appears. However, skeptics said it has to be wires or CGI. So what do you think's been captured in this gym in Colombia? Is it all just a well-orchestrated hoax? Or are we witnessing something paranormal? Love to hear your ideas in the comment section down below. We've actually featured TikTokers Laney and Ben before, as it seems their whole house is filled with non stop paranormal activity. Fortunately, they've set up security cameras all around their home for the rest of us to witness the strange activity as well. In the first clip, we see the interior of their living room. Here, we can see some rather eerie activity. The second video shows the living room again, where more strange things keep happening. In the third clip, things get a little more alarming. Take a look.
Watching that again in slow motion, utensils fly out of the drawer. Then what seems to be a knife goes flying into the wall across the room. In the fourth clip, which takes place in the kitchen again, whatever's causing the activity seems to have a vendetta against Ben. In the final clip, while it's not CCTV footage, it's so strange we just had to add it. Take a look at what happens. What the hell? <gasps> Shut up! What the hell? Did you see it? Oh, you couldn't miss it? Oh, we've got to watch that back. As you can see, the door handle clearly moves before the door swings open on its own. <gasps> Shut up! Lainey and Ben look up the stairs, but there's nothing there. Oh, you couldn't miss it? Oh, we've got to watch that back. Is this house really haunted? The footage certainly seems to suggest so. But as always, I'll throw this out to you, the viewer. What do you think is going on? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Now, if you enjoyed this compilation of the best scary videos of 2021, then why not check out last year's compilation? There's a link to 2020s right there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist there you can binge on anyway. Now, in the comments section down below, let us know what you thought was the scariest video of 2021. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.